Looking for a game on Roblox, you've probably scrolled past this and been like, um, what is it? Probably looks boring. Actually, let me not play that game. In today's video, I'll be explaining what that game is, why you should play it, is it fun? Rise of Nations is a grand strategy game, uh, most similarly compared to Hearts of Iron 4, a popular grand strategy game. It's like that, and there's so much things you can do. Mainly, the game is about war strategy. You're fighting other players, and you play as real world countries. So, you have the map here, and you have a bunch of different countries. Most notably the US, China, Russia, and you get to play as these countries, wage war against other countries, and um, yeah, that's the end of the video, but Now, a game of Rise of Nations takes place as you are the country's president, or rather, you're the president of the country which you choose. Now, I'm gonna choose, now I'm gonna choose Russia, making me the president of Russia, and now I'm in charge of everything that Russia does. I'm in charge of the country's diplomacy, economy, technology, and military. When it comes to country, we have a bunch of different things we can do. We have laws, policies, leaders, ideologies, factions, modifiers, rankings. Now, we're placed in a server with about 40, I'd say most of the time, 20 to 40 players, which are also playing as other countries. Now I'm Russia, and um, here I have my economy. My treasury is about a billion dollars. As you can see here by my income, I make nine million dollars. Um, here's my outcome. Here's a, here are the expenses I'm paying for my military upkeep. And there are a bunch of different factors which influence how I interact with the world. So all these other players, here we have a Germany player. This Germany player is like an actual player and they follow nationalism. We can also change their ideology. We have socialism, nationalism, I'm gonna go with socialism. And here are the main or most important factors in the game, which are gonna be your stability, your political power, war exhaustion, and corruption. And we don't have that anymore. We have technology, which is loud, which basically, mm, I wouldn't say basically, it's a very complex, uh, an intricate part of the game, which allows you to upgrade different factors of your nation, or your military so we have tanks here and what i can do i can upgrade my tanks is mobility firepower and armor so we can use the research points that we gain here for other qualities um we can also do the same thing for economy we can boost our tax collection so we make an income of nine million we tax collection two now we make 10 million we can increase our research so our research point rate is 2.9 and we can increase that by pressing these two buttons over here going from 2.9 to 3.5 now, when it comes to diplomacy, I'll show you a pretty cool factor that I like a lot about this game, which is how you can interact with other countries. Now, we have something here, which is the USA asking for an alliance. We can say yes, and now we can see or view the USA's units. So we know the USA has tanks, and we know the USA has battleships, four battleships exactly. Now, this game is all about um, expanding your country into different territories. So as you see here, United Kingdom has large parts of North Africa, like Libya, Tunisia, and Egypt has the Levant region, which is Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, Jordan, um, Syria. <laughs> I almost forgot what country that was for a second. And you can pretty much grow an empire. So what you're witnessing here is what you call a foreign war. Um, Japan and North Korea, I believe, are at war with China. So you see Japan taking over Chinese cities and you see North Korea taking over Chinese cities. What you also see here is China falling apart, which means certain provinces are declaring independence. So now... Zhengzhou? Zhengzhou? Zhengzhou is now an independent state that broke off from China, which is an AI country. This is the breakdown of the base game. I think it's really fun, and I think there's a lot of flexibility, modularity, and just a bunch of different things you can do as your player. This next example represents what it's like to launch an invasion in a country in this game, so it's just um, what war looks like and a breakdown of it. So, let's get all our tanks in position. So, here you see these are Poland, these are the Polish troops. They put flag above them. These are my troops, the one that have the German flag next to them. And let's start to declare war. Conquest. And now we're Poland. Now it's auto capture. And here's exactly what an invasion looks like in game. You see me defeating their troops, the ones that are now highlighted red. As you can see now, their troops are now going for mine. So this is what war essentially looks like. This is me breaking their entire front line, going for essential cities, defeating their troops. As you see, a lot of their units have already disappeared. That's them recapturing one of their cities. And this is me going for Warsaw, their capital. I can individually move troops like this. Like I'm sending this amount of tanks. I'm sending 700 tanks to intercept those troops over here. And as you see, they no longer have a standing army. And I continue to capture the rest of the country.
Alright, now that I've captured all of Poland, I can negotiate our terms. I'm going to annex all of Poland, take their treasury and their resources. And now we currently occupy Poland and they are now a part of uh, the German Empire. So as you see, everything that's highlighted in red here is all my territory here. Um, these are tanks, as you see, they're moving pretty fast. These are infantry, 200,000 of them. They don't move as fast as tanks, obviously. So that's a very good and quick explanation. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and have a good understanding of what type of game Rise of Nations is. Um, recommend it to your friends if you are interested in playing a new game on Roblox. It's mainly a strategy kind that may or may not be some people's cup of tea, per se. So, um, overall, I hope you tried the game out. Link will be in the description.